It was the biggest event in human history. Our baby was a little boy, so everyone's little boy is going to be an astronaut. <laughs> Those were the good days. I think we were all carried, carried upward with that. Everybody at work, uh, riding in their cars, were just glued to their radios or their TV sets for the latest news on Apollo 11 because we knew these guys were going to try to go to the moon, and it was exciting. I think everyone in neighborhoods would go out for their newspaper in the morning. And I picked it up and I just had a sense of this is important. Front page news was they were safe. And they actually had touched down. And it was um, hurrah time. We did it and all that kind of thing. I remember they were saying he's put one foot on the ladder and he's put two feet on the ladder. Then he finally gets to the bottom and his foot touched the moon soil. And I remember my buddy and I, we started cheering like it was a football game or something. I mean, we're going down the road and, you know, I'm driving and he's sitting next to me. And we're like, yes, yes, USA, USA. You need something tangible for you to look at and it will jog your memories of what you're, and not only your memories, but your emotions of how you felt back then. I understand the original dies are in the Armstrong collection, but these medals were stamped from replicas of the original dies. And that brought back an 80-year-old man's mind to the time the first man went on the moon. It's one small step for man, one giant leap for mankind.